Hi, I'm Eyes. I'm the guy who makes the playthroughs you see on this channel. Today I'm going to be quick and straight to the point. Um, I'm going to show you how to download Streets of Rage Maker mods and to implement them to your games. And we're going to do that by first going into our browser. These are the two uh, main sources where I get my mods from. We'll open up both. Uh, this is the drive. This is made by Dave Preach or Dav Preak. I don't know how you pronounce it. This is where I get most of my mods. We'll put it in list view. Um, they're very. It's, it's in a very convenient spot. This other, this other link that I have is the official uh, forum for Streets of Rage remake, and this is under the completed mods section. So you'll see all of these different posts by different people and they usually have links to their mods whether that's uh, characters or like complete uh, games you can find them here on a google drive it'll sometimes say that you can't scan for viruses due to size most of these are almost all of these are trusted i haven't ran into a problem at all so i don't think you should either uh, so we see it's a rar file which sucks uh, we have seven zip for that though it should be noted that some of these mods are for Streets of Rage 2 and other ROM hacks, like this This one that I downloaded before without realizing is a Streets of Rage 2 uh, ROM hack. But we're going to download one that I know works, Urban Rain. I know this is a one that I downloaded before, so we'll wait for that to download. Okay, after we download the mod we want to download, we take it to what I recommend is uh, the 7-Zip file manager. You can find it online for free, just look up 7-Zip. Uh, it's good for opening RAR files, it's good for opening 7-zip files. So we find our um, our file, whether it's in here or through the download page. I'm sure you can drag it in here and that works too. And then we're going to extract it. You don't have to really add a name, you can if you want, but it should go into a destination with its own file name, just unzipped. So we're going to do that real quick. And now we see up here, this file is ready to use. We will put it out on the desktop for ease of access. And then we will go into our Streets of Rage remake file, whether this is 5.2 or 5.1, it works about the same. We'll go into mods and games. Here you see a prototype mod that comes with 5.1. This is its own game. You will be able to access it uh, with, the, with the original game. Uh, and we see here we open up the Urban Rain file. This is a remake of Urban Rain in Streets of Rage 5.1. I have a video on it if you'd like to watch it. And here it's uh, enemy palettes, character palettes, and so since there's no other root file, we can see that this is in fact the file we would like to put in here. You should be careful, there's a common mistake that I make all the time. Putting this file, the normal Urban Rain, even though you click in and can see another Urban Rain file, will result in a black screen and the mod not to work. So just make sure it's not the containing file. So once it's in here, it should be noted that since there were things for character palettes and enemy palettes, I will tell you where to put those. Back in the main uh, root file for Streets of Rage 5.1, we see a, a folder called palettes. Here is where we would put our enemy palettes and our character palettes. Um, I, I, I put them in here because for enemy palettes, any file, any folder named enemies will be where the game takes from. So what I like to do is I like to rename the file, keep enemies, but instead I will put an abbreviation of the mod. It should be noted that when you do this, you're gonna want to rename the original OG, just so, like I do OG for original, but anything that'll help you identify that these are in fact the original files. You have a backup, but that will run out if you use it more than once. Uh, you can download them online if you need them, but I like to rename any mod uh, palettes to something that I can identify them with. I use an abbreviation, so it's Urban Rain, so we're gonna do UR, and then whatever's named just enemies without the, um, without the abbreviation will be what the game takes from. So when you wanna use a mod and it's uh, custom enemy palettes, you should remove the abbreviation and just leave enemies, and that will make it so that that's where the game pulls from. After that, when you wanna do character palettes, what I do, is you see there's only a few character palettes in here and they're based off the characters they use in the game. Uh, you would copy them into your characters folder. It's gonna ask you to replace them. Make sure you, or you could uh, back up the individual files, just put them in something so that you have the originals for later. But once you replace the files in this destination, it will show up in game. So we have the enemies set to the urban rain 
and we have the actual Urban Rain mod in its game's destination. So let's test if everything is good by going back and hitting the actual Streets of Rage remake program. This is just a real quick check. I'm not gonna go into full screen. We will check normal and we see Urban Rain. If you see a black box where the title's like little images, this can sometimes be representative of a broken file or if you, like I said before, put the actual folder that you downloaded into it. Wrong, because you need to make sure to get the folder with all the stuff in it, not the folder with the folder with the stuff in it. Okay, so we're going to just check if it works and we see that it does in fact work. So that is how you get Streets of Rage Maker mods um, in, the, in Streets of Rage Remake. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see me play some of these mods and other games in the future, be sure to like and subscribe. I am Eyes. Thank you for watching.